Hi, my name is Katie O'Neill and I've been a primary school teacher for 10 years. I remember the day that it was decided that school would close, sending the children home, um, not knowing when you were going to see them again. Hi, my name's Dan. I'm a social worker. I work in a mental health service. The first moment was when I came into the office, looked around and there were people coming in to um, risk assess the rooms and taping desks and they took all our cutlery. I was on the ward. There was just people emptying and discharging all these children out, ready for the influx of um, adult patients. We were helping in Dover, testing the lorry drivers. The motorway were all empty. There was only one or two vehicle, like our vehicle just going traveling. That was the moment I felt like this is real. We have over 1,500 prisoners. And, you know, every day you have to get up and, and, and be there for them. The good days outweigh the bad, but when the bad are bad, they're bad. We'd gone from being children's nurses to adult nurses. Even in two weeks, it had gone from, nah, it's gonna be okay, to we have no idea what's gonna happen, and we're petrified. I went from feeling really, really fortunate to having a, a personal loss in my life, and within six weeks, I was working on a ward looking after dying people, and I felt horrendous because I couldn't be with my own family. The biggest thing for me was um, was last summer. Actually, my dad my dad took his own life, um, and finding people to console with, you know, trying to function in when you don't want to function, um, you just want to shut down and and just become very insular. It was very that was that was, it was horrible. It was you know it was um, it's hard. It's, it's still it's not over. I love my job. I didn't feel like it was a choice to stop. I didn't, it didn't cross my mind because we did see a decline in people's mental health. I'll go home and I'll have had a bad day or a long day or a tough day, but every day you achieve something. Um, and every day there's an opportunity to change someone's life, to improve someone's life. Has all the clapping for the public sector caused me to feel valued? I don't know, I think it's the start of a, a bit of a process of recognition. On a bigger scale, when I think of the public as an entity, no, I don't feel valued. But I don't want to engage in that too much and think about it politically. When I think of the public as the people that I meet, the patients that sit in front of me and their families, and yeah, I 100% feel valued. When we help someone, they'll be happy. And if someone's happy, that's all you need in life. If we can just take time to listen to one another more and that will hopefully bring understanding and kindness. I put this uniform on every day. I take great pride in it. You know, I've, I've always been proud to be a teacher, but now this year that means so much more. So whether you be a teacher, a nurse, a doctor, a firefighter, all the things you are doing contribute to life as we know it and life as we experience it here. We've been through these kind of significant changes and episodes. Um, we can get through more. Um, and I think pe having people feel like they are greater than they think they are. Um, you know, people should feel that because they are. I have a lot of colleagues that are very humble and very modest and actually they're incredible people. <laughs>